Hello, I am Flash Isaac. This is Flash Ninas. You are now watching 120 Days to Jam. This is a series containing 120 videos to prepare you for jam. Each episode of the series contains introduction, outline, detailed class, questions, and homework for you. The questions and homework are from the Flash Learners Jam application. Install Flash Learners Jam app today to access all the free features. Click activate and scroll to buy activation key to get access to the golden features. Don't be scared, the app is affordable. Do you have trust issues? Simply chat me directly on Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, and Telegram for installation and activation instruction. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to take off. This is episode number 8 of the 120 days to jump economics with Flash Isaac. I promised to make the calculation, graph, and table parts of economics very very simple for you that begins from this episode we've been able to look at the scientific approach deductive and inductive reasoning positive and normative reasoning and in the previous episode i talked about basic tools used in economic analysis and they include tables charts, graphs, measure of central tendency, that is mean, median, and mode, measure of dispersion, that is range, mean deviation, standard deviation, and variance. Then we need to know the advantages and disadvantages of these measures of central tendency and of dispersion. Today, we shall be taking a look at charts, tables, and graphs as tools used in economic analysis. What are tables? What are charts? And what are graphs? A table is representation of data in rows and columns. What is data? Data are facts. For example, if your mom sends you to buy something at the market, for you not to forget, you simply take a paper and pen. You write, Pepe or Maggie 2, price 20 naira, salt 1 sachet 50 naira, fish 2, 500 naira. In that case, you are Putting down the data. Data are facts. And when you process data, you get a complete information. The feature of every table is that they have rows and columns. No matter how your table looks like, the part from the top like this is referred to as the column. Like in this table, this is one column, this is another column, and this is another column. This table has three columns. Then the part that goes this way is the row. So if I mark something like this, mark something like this, something like this, something like this. So here, these are the rows. Row 1, row 2, row 3, and row 4. That is the characteristic of table. And table helps us to represent data. It is a simple way of representing data, and it helps us to put our item in a readable form. Talking about the graphs, graphs are made up of vertical and horizontal axes, or we say S and Y axes. These guys you are seeing in this chart, there are graphs disguised in them. In statistics, you hardly do without graphs. And what are graphs? Just the way I simplified table, graph is also very simple. Look at this. 
If I say I want to check something, how the quantity and price of this commodity or of this market list vary, I will plot it in the graph to see the pattern it follows. In that case, I can draw something like this. This is a graph. I will say, let this be my y axis or vertical. Let it be my x axis, horizontal axis. Now, let me change the s axis to quantity. So, instead, y axis to quantity. Instead of y, let me say, let it be quantity. Instead of s, let me call here price. Let's say the price. Then I look at it. When quantity is 2, what is the price? So I look. Quantity 2. Price 10. So 2 corresponds to 10. Then I mark it. When quantity was 1, like for sort, the price is what? 4. So quantity 1, price. When quantity three price is quantity three price eight quantity four price six so quantity four price six now looking at this graph you see something here is sloping down so from this graph we can look for slope which is the difference in quantity divided by the difference in price. So, ladies and gentlemen, you've been able to plot graphs. Any graph you are given, so long you have the data, it is for you to impute in the graph. That is graph for you. Then, charts. What are charts? Chart is a graphical representation of data in forms of bars, lines, or diagrams. And these are the types of charts that we have. We have bar charts. Everything here is bar charts. And bar chart is divided into the simple bar chart, the component bar chart, and the multiple bar chart. Here is the simple bar chart. For example, you are given the scores of students. Here I represent the students. Here I represent the score. From here, you can see that students, two students, had 10 scores. Four students had 20 scores. Therefore, two students scored 20 marks. Why four students scored? Two students scored 10 marks. Why four students scored 20 marks? That is how you interpret bar chart. Then when a bar carries more than one information. In that case, it is referred to as component bar chart. You get something like this. Only one bar is carrying charge, adult and senior in its own. So you read their values differently. So how many children do we have? How many adults? How many senior? Just one bar giving you those information. We also have multiple bar chart where you see two two bars together. Let's say here boys guess in 2016 Let's say in 2017, you also have boys, guess. So, in each bar, you have double. They are giving you different updates. And talking about charts, we all have histogram. Histogram is different from bar charts in that in histogram, the bars, they are, they are together. For here, this bar is different from this bar. In this, this is one component, you have another component. They are separate. Here, one multiple, another multiple, but they are not joined. In histogram, all the bars, they join together. And they usually give you the class mark or the class interval. Going on charts, we have the pictogram. Pictogram is pictorial representation in charts. Instead of these bars, if you are representing animal file, you draw one file here, draw one file here. If you are representing ball, you draw balls. If you are representing rats, you draw rats. So pictorial form. A pictogram is uh, usually used by kids to introduce them to statistics, to charts.
Moving forward, we have pie charts. Pie chart. Pie chart is a representation of data or values in circle. And each data or value they occupy a sector in the circle. This is a pie chart. This pie chart contains orange, mango, and banana. And they are represented in degrees. Each of the values, they have their own degrees. They can as well be represented in percentage. Looking at this chart, orange represents 180 degrees. Mango is 70 degrees. Banana is 10 degrees, which is unknown. If I ask you the question, what is the angle of banana? Or how many degrees does banana represent? What would you say and what would you do? The sum of angles in a circle or in any circle is 360 degrees. Which means if you are given different sectors representing different degrees, if you add everything, it should not be greater than 360 degrees. That is circle for you. Tables, charts, and graphs. In this, before we end this class, we shall look at one question under basic tools. Then in the next episode, we will be solving a lot of questions under these charts and tables. So let's see a question from the Flash Analysis Down app. The sign of a slope of a graph in economic analysis is important because when you are given graph like this, this is the slope. The slope can be positive or negative. This sign is important. Why? The slope shows relationship between variable. Upward slope shows a positive relationship between variables, while downward slope shows a negative relationship between variables. Add it to yourself. Slope shows relationship between variables. Variables are what we are comparing. If you are comparing quantity and price, these are the variables. So the slope will show how the quantity and the price relate. If the slope is downward, it means it is a negative slope. Therefore, negative relationship. Upward slope shows a positive relationship. Just take note of that. This brings us to the end of this episode. And for your assignment, open the Flatinal Jam app. Click on question search. Go to charts or you search graphs. You see questions. And in Flatinal Jam application, you can study by topics. You open the app, go to economics. You choose the topic you want to study. So you can just go to method of economic analysis or go to economic tools. You see questions under economic tools. So it is an amazing application. And I look forward to seeing you in episode number nine. Thank you.